back to our Texas homestead. Today I'm going to be making some skillet queso. So let me bring in here so you can see all what we put in it. So we got some queso blanco Velveeta, like half a block. The regular Velveeta, half a block. A whole onion, a bunch of cilantro, a can of Rotel, and then milk. And we're also gonna put some um, pickled jalapenos in there, but my son had to run to the store to get those, so when he gets back, we'll finish it. But we'll get all this going for now. So I got the un um, oven heated up to 350. So we're just going to dump everything in the skillet. And this uh, queso is so much better than anything we've had at Mexican restaurants. And we're in Texas, so you know they have good queso down here. But this one is nothing beats it. And then I don't drain the roto, I just dump the whole thing in there. And then just kind of mix it together. Put in like a couple of big splashes of milk, maybe like a quarter of a cup. And then I'm gonna go ahead and get this in the oven so it can start melting. And then when my son comes back with the jalapenos, I'll have to pull it out to stir it anyway. So I'll add the jalapenos then and I'll bring you back so you can see it then. Okay, so we got the jalapenos now. It's like two tablespoons of sliced pickled jalapenos, and I just diced them up. So I'm going to get that mixed in there. And it's pretty much melted, so I'm going to throw it back in the oven, let it warm up a little bit more, get the jalapenos all mixed up in there, let the juices get in there. And then I'll come back and I'll show you how long it, how, how it tastes. And this took like 20 minutes at 350. Okay, so I left it in there for like five more minutes just to get it finished melting and get the jalapenos in there. Now we're going to add just some sliced ones on top with a little bit of juice. It comes out nice and thick. That's better queso than what you'll find in a Mexican restaurant. So don't forget to like, subscribe, and share, and we'll see you next time.